Hey everybody, what's going on? I uh, hope everybody's going to enjoy their weekend here. It should be pretty nice, at least from where I'm from. At least it's raining right now, which kind of sucks, but uh, I want to get my damn motorcycle out. I've been I only been able to ride it twice this year, but anyways, besides the point, today's subject, or at least this uh, episode's subject, is going to be the highest anabolic, androgenic, AAS, or, uh, mega dose, uh, biggest cycle, whatever the hell you want to call it, the biggest cycle I've ever done, and uh, I'm going to lay it all out for you, and um, I will do my best on um, explaining everything. So, I'm going to go over the drugs that I did, and then I'll go, uh, each drug I'll say what milligrams. So... Testosterone stipunate, it was 600 milligrams per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 200 milligrams per day. Uh, Equipoise, 1,600 milligrams a week, and I ran that for, I think, two or three weeks, and uh, I can't remember how I split it up. It came in uh, two, I think I split it up. Uh, like two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, whatever equals 1600. That's what I did. I can't remember. It was a little while ago. Um, when I first started the Equipoise, I, uh, was using Dianabol. Um, I was taking 40 milligrams, uh, 20 in the AM. And then an hour before the, uh, the workout, I was taking, um, another 20 before my workout about an hour prior. I did that for the first uh, about three to four weeks. I think it was closer to three, three and a half weeks. Then I switched to, uh, where, sorry, where are we at here? Then I switched to uh, Anavar. And um, the Anavar, I was running 40 milligrams. I would either take 40 milligrams three hours before the workout or I would split it up uh, half in the morning and then like an hour before I would take the other 20 milligrams. And that was every day just like, and that I ran for four weeks. Uh, I ran uh, a milligram of Arimidex every day. Uh, I was running uh, Prima Bolin. Uh, at 400 milligrams, uh, so I took it on Sunday, and then I took it on Wednesday, 200 and 200. Uh, total count is roughly 270, uh, 2,700 milligrams per week. I can't remember if I added in the, uh, I don't think that I don't even, I don't think that's including the D ball and the Anavar. I can't remember. I'll have to redo it, but you guys can figure it out if you really are that interested. Um, so, but over 2,700 milligrams per week. Uh, I was getting big. I was full. I was hungry all the time because of how much equipoise I had in my system. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, and I actually, I forgot. Um, I added MPP uh, to start off when I was running uh, Dynaball and the Equipoise, starting off with the Equipoise. I ran MPP for two, two or three weeks. So, and that was 150 milligrams twice a week. So, uh, so add that up again, that's another 300, so over 3,000 milligrams per week, that's over 3 grams, guys, so I do not suggest doing this, this is just what I did, this is just my story, do not do this at home, that is a lot of gear, I will never do it again, and, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know what I've done in the past, um, I think... Eventually, I'm going to run a crazy-ass cycle, uh, but I uh, want to finish off my trend cycle, my Anavar cycle, my TET, and then go back down to TRT for a while, for, for about a half a year, and then I'm just going to try, I'll throw in some Anadrol, some Anavar, uh, and then we'll cut down with like Winnie and Trend. And then, you know, we'll build up with MPP and DECA and Equipoise, just go all out. But 
that's in the future. So until next time, you guys are watching the channel, Natural Juicer Nolan. Thank you guys so much for subscribing again. Uh, means a lot. Uh, we're at 400 subscribers, so that's kick ass. So until next time, have a good one. Peace.